Our killer clan, so we're at Food Beast headquarters. And they're setting up for Molly Schumer. She's gonna do 350 Burger King nuggets. And then they're setting me up. They got me some Wenchel's donuts over there. We're gonna see how quick I can get through donuts. 56, I think. I think you got 56 of these donuts, so it's gonna be fun. But this is first time uh, collabing with Food Beast. It's gonna be fun. These guys are a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you around their facility here, and then we're gonna get into these challenges. Facility. 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 Okay. Let me get the killer right here. Okay, guys. We're going to count Kills this down. We're going to try. <laughs> I think you'll kill him. Let's do what we can do. We're going to count it down from 10, y'all. I need everyone in the chat to leave those predictions. How many donuts do you think Killer Kennedy can have? There's only one of these. Down in his stomach. Uh, any time predictions? And uh, remember, all the bits that get donated, if you want to cheer Dan on, those will go directly to No Kid Hungry, which is a great, mm -hmm. great... And shout out to all you that have donated so far. Yeah, you, you guys, guys are so amazing. Much. You guys are amazing. Donut Do you want to know your guests in one second? Okay, I, I believe all of them are going to be gone too. I think all of them are going to be gone too. So we're going to count down from 10. Dan, I believe in you, my friend. All right, we'll All give right. her heck. Let's we'll see what we can do. Give him heck. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. 10, 9, nine 8, eight seven, seven, 6, seven, six five, 5, 4, 3, 2, two one. 1, go. All right, we're starting off, guys. That yeah. first donut went down in like 10 seconds. That was fast. Dude, those donuts look so good. They do. Look I almost really want good. the donuts more than I want the, uh, the nuggets from before. Oh, I want the donuts way more than the nuggets. Are you kidding? What's his favorite food is, is like donuts. What's your favorite food? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Good. Good. Good job, Molly. Yeah. Oh, Druid. Zordon coming in with the bits. Shout out, Druid. There you go. Cash are coming through. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he got the he got the squeeze technique. Kind of makes it like a little taco. Um, good water technique. He loves tacos. Yeah. Oh, one does it down. One does it down. Already clear away for more. Yeah, man, sugar's a different piece. But if Dan likes sugar, then... <laughs> well, he loves sugar. I mean, I guess who doesn't like sugar? It's just how it affects you differently, different yeah. people. I feel like I love sugar, and even for me, there's a limit, but this is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Third Dan, Dan let's go. Yeah, me too. Gonna have a video coming out later where he and a couple buddies were at his helping me like a ice cream sundae that was over 30 pounds. Oh, you and your buddies. Gosh. Okay, so sneak peek, sneak preview here, guys. Uh, we don't have any footage of it, but apparently Dan made a 30 pound sundae with him and his and his, and his people. 40,000 calories. 40,000 oh, calories. 30 pound donut. Uh, 30 pound sundae. I think there are donuts me. on the sundae. Oh, is there donuts on it? Yeah. You gotta rack mm -hmm. up big donuts, uh, and that's going live on your YouTube channel soon. Oh, you guys better be subscribed there, man. Yeah, better subscribe, man. Uh, yo, shout out to King Kill, man. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, 12 bits, 13 bits, man. We're gonna feed. I think we're feeding some children today. I like that. Number 13, 13 down. Oh, he's eating number 15 right now. That's that's. Uh, this man must be sugar deficient. You think you're big? That's yeah, cool. We will get a timer in the he's broadcast soon. So sugar deficiency. As we mentioned, our stream is actually run by a real life robot. His name is FamBot. He runs the stream, and every stream that we progress, his firmware gets better. So we add new features. So now we have like a ticker for the donuts. Um, so he's doing a really good job. So right now, Do you feel like our timer is four minutes Ooh, and thirty seconds. Eating. 
Can't talk to you. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna bug Dan with his questions, <laughs> with questions, but damn, we got more bits coming in from Fanbot and King Kill TV. Every time we talk about Fanbot, he's a good dude. He's a robot. So sixteen you, donuts down. Sixteen donuts down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Mm. So if you were a food beast person, what is your favorite donut? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, my favorite donut. I, I think a Krispy Kreme glaze is like the standard. That's like the gold standard. Okay, I'm thing. talking about like real bakery donuts. Like, like a, a big. Not like mass production. Like I just bought this in a box because I had to pick it up that okay, way. Okay, what's the place in Costa Mesa that does really, really good donuts? You cannot lick your lips. Oh, man. That's crazy. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> so, another record that I'm seeing is on Krispy Kreme donuts. Somebody ate five dozen yeah. Krispy Kreme donuts in nine minutes, 17.28 seconds. <laughs> that goes out of shape. No, I'm glad you did faster. The bear. Who was that? Was that James? The bear. The bear. Oh, that's an old one. Yeah. No. No, I, I have it on film somewhere. I did 71 Krispy Kreme donuts in 10. <laughs> Damn. Wow. For us to be 100, so. You guys, what is your ideal? In the chat, let us know. Who's your ideal? Any reason why the coconut Competitive ones eater challenge. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? Okay. Uh, them too. For another day. For another day. What is your favorite? Oh my goodness. How <laughs> are we doing, Krusty? This is a gap, man. Huh? Yes, wow. they are. He's over halfway through the a lot of donuts on the table right now. We are 12 minutes and 20 seconds into this challenge. Dan Killer Kennedy, where are we at? Uh, he's eating donut number 29. 29, y'all. Uh, Orange Paw is still leading the bit donations, guys, but everyone who donated bits is an amazing person who was a part of a memorable, memorable day. Some world records were broken. It's incredible. It's incredible. Everyone, yeah, get it. Oh, there's a different. Oh, oh, whoa, Winchell. See, but that's how you know they're good donuts. They're real. They're not just coming out of a machine. Huh? A gentleman at Winchell's was pulling donut dough and putting it in the fryer. Like, it's a real, real person making real donuts. There you go. Oh, he's more straight. He's in for dance. <laughs> Should make them cookie last night. So Freaky and I were talking about the In and Out challenge. Oh, the 40 by 40 that he pulled off. He pulled off a 40 by 40. Reina, crazy Reina, then a, a 50 by 50. Molly. 100 by 100. You think you can do 100 by 100? Sure, why not? Damn! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Did she do it Reina style? The call out. I do not know. I do not know what this random style is that you speak of, but I just need to know a number, and we will make this in and out challenge happen, y'all. Um, okay, Ariel. One hundred by one hundred. Like Why? Read your comment. Yeah. Shout out, man. Two hundred bits. One hundred by one hundred. Yeah. A little wild. Yeah, there were, I mean, they were mixed data for the views, but which it really didn't get. <laughs> but yeah. yeah I'm, I'm hearing reports that after the taco challenge last night, Molly Schuyler was not even full. That was 160 tacos, and she still wanted a little bit of Carl's Jr. Not even full, bro. Not even full. Not, not even full. a little bit. Now we could have gone further. It was not bad. That's what you call light work. Light work. It is light work. Yo, drop a Thanos hand. Everyone a subscriber, you now have close to Thanos hand emoji. Every time Costa says something you like, you can hit him with the Thanos hand. Hey guys, it's Pete from Editorial. What's up, Pete from Editorial? Uh, I saw some donuts downstairs. Are they up for grabs or what? There's donuts downstairs? He's making that up randomly? I mean, what's your point? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You can't have these donuts. Killer Dan's going to destroy them. Okay. We are, we are like just basing through these 32 
down so far. You guys got any oh. diet mountain dew so I can keep my calories down? You want you want you want your calories down? I got your calorie count right it. here. I'm doing this just based on average calories of a Winchell's donut. Based on that, you're at 11,520. Um. So you're gonna leave here and immediately go run like 20 miles. Yep. I'm gonna take the plane back to Pennsylvania. Wait, you want a monster? Maybe. No, oh, I don't need any sugar. I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you want? I was joking. I said, can I get a diet soda to keep my calories uh, down? Oh, I thought you actually wanted a soda. That's, no. that's that's kind of cool. Eli just tried to give this man a monster. Right it's not even open. Like trying to give me a monster like I don't already, hey, no. like I'm not already soaked in 50,000 grams of sugar. I mean, you're just gonna bounce it off that point. Zero sugar, monster. Oh, zero sugar to keep the calories down. Dang. Okay, the bomber, the new challenge coming in from. Baseball is a game of skill. I think there's a bit of athleticism tied to it, but I think there's an incredible amount of athleticism tied to top tier competitive eating. And I think in both sports you eat during the game. You get to chew in the dugout, you get peanuts, popcorn, donuts if That's you want. Spectators. <laughs> no, 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 come on, come on. I've seen, I've seen. Twelve dollar beers. No, no, but the players, the players in baseball eat on I the bench. I think you're thinking about Bartolo Colon there, Eli. Who's that? He's like, uh, Drop a Thanos for, for, for Costa. I'm gonna drop one right here from you from the Fubis account. I think you need to pull in like some, like, what do they call it, people? Like, I can't think of the term, but like. Yeah, so Ario Q says, yeah, that uh, competitive eaters have to find a way to burn off the calories that they're consuming. So as a result, the top tier ones end up Performing, doing some performance stuff like they go on crazy runs, they work out at the gym a lot, you know. Make babies. Make babies. Calories in, calories out. Yeah. yeah calories in, calories out. Yeah. That's been my model, isn't that? Are you out right, right? That's a killer candy pull, actually. Calories, yes, calories, 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 calories out. Calories in, calories out. Calories out. But, uh, she's like sports physiologist. Like, do interviews with them and see. Mm. I bet you, you get into a heated argument with someone. I bet. I'll, and I'll take that argument any day of the week. And you can run an actual like sports series where you can see what you know. Okay, you think you're dead. Guys, we are at 23 minutes and 45 seconds. And we are 40 donuts down, y'all. 40 donuts down. Whew. Are you still loving them, though? No, no. no. Shout that, out to Fanbot. I'm way, I'm way past bits. enjoying it. King Kill has been consistent, man. Appreciate you. Thanks for the sub too earlier. I'm Enjoy that badge. Really Next month's badge is going to be dope. Uh, here we go. We got some new questions coming in. So we got 40 donuts in. We got 14 left to eat out of the whole spread. We're at 14,400 calories right now. Let's see here. Oh, right. Kingdom, do you think competitive yeah. eating is a disrespect? So I think that's a good question. Are, is eating For a lot in one country? Did, like, so there's a challenge when it comes to feeding people in different parts of the world that are food insecure, and that's why we tried to find new charities like No Kid Hungry and other ones that. The biggest challenge to feed people is also is the transportation of food and getting food to people who need it. So if you and I eat a little bit more food than normal, it doesn't take food out of someone else's mouth particularly in the grand scheme of it. So I think there's other ways to find value and other ways to kind of help fix the problem. So it's not an easy problem to fix. I think there's great people out there. Jose Andres, the chef who's doing incredible things and creating kitchens on the fly in parts of the world that need it. So complaining to people online about overconsumption of food isn't the first step towards fixing the problem. 
It's people like Jose Andres, companies like No Kid Hungry, that are doing the technological feats that need to take place to be able to serve people who need the food. Because if we have a total overabundance of food here, we can serve our community, which is the first step. But getting food to parts of the world that need it most, that's a challenge. There's a lot of technical hurdles that you have to overcome to feed them. So I'm not an expert in that, but every little bit helps. So for sure. Yo, for, yo. All right, Bomber 77. Again, he's matching bit for calorie if Killer Kennedy finishes the whole table. Good day for Harris. Good day. <laughs> it's a good day. You guys, we are at 26 oh, minutes man. in on this donut challenge. If you're just joining in. But anyway, I think we, we could restart it. So we should be everyone's like, oh, you're good. gross or disgusting or oh my god, you're being nasty and fair or yeah. whatever. Think about oh it. my god. I'm eating all this food. That's a lot of milk. But everything, like, right in front of me, and That's you have a big fan. So, that so you eat that food and throw it away. Or you overeat that, or you go to, like, I don't know, you a great Thanksgiving meal, and you stuff yourself to death. What's the difference between you doing that, or you being paid? Me. I'm we get paid. For it. Yep. It's I your got, job. I got paid. Yeah, it's you your job. Did, you just got sick and disgusting. I got paid while I did it. There's entertainment. There's an entertainment fact at the I, end of the day, yeah. you're, you're, you're creating a transaction with your audience and your fans yeah. for, for compensation. I understand myself. That's not mine. And if you're, if you're having fun, that's what matters too. Yeah, they've all done it. DSLR shut off. Do you want me Good thing I got, I, good thing I have it all. Well, I restarted this one, so I restarted that one. That was mine. Yeah, that's what I like what we're doing here is at least if we're enjoying this entertainment, right, we can also raise awareness at the same time. So if there are those questions of food waste, well, we are doing our due diligence. Dude, look at this. He's, he's at this. got he's 45 like all the way Ooh. down. I know, right? Just a massive donut pancake. Oh, another box into the pile. Get it, damn. Blue Lightning Shock is cheering you on. King Kill with another 45 bits. Bro, this is nice. We're, we're, pretty, we're pretty up there. King Kill's closing in on Orange Paws. Uh, cheering. So the, the leaderboards right now: are Orange Paws top, uh, King Kill with 4,100 bits, and Flappos B Jargles. I love that name. That is an awesome Jargles. name. That's an awesome name. Uh, he's rounding out third. Everyone else has been so amazing. What about Poogly? What about Poogly? Yeah, what about Poogly? Yeah, what is Poogly? Oh, Poogly's Poopy. just been really helpful to everyone in the chat. I just like that name. Uh oh. Bomber said his bits have been purchased, he believes in you, and they're weighing down his pocket. So he says, let's get it, killer. Woo, woo. Question, do each of these donuts taste the same or do they taste different based on the icings? At this point, they're just all blending together. Mm. It's just, they're like, the thing is, you would think the water would help, but it actually just makes them really Lucky. Like, sticky. Oh, really? And yeah. water like helps starch expand too in the stomach. Oh. Hey. You know, it, Wrong. That, that, it, it's all displacement. It's the same thing. Mass is still mass. So the donut becomes bigger, but the water becomes less. So it's not really, it doesn't make it bigger. You're just putting the water in the donut. Yeah. Mm. But Sometimes you got to put the water right in the middle. And these aren't, they aren't like real airy like I assumed they were going to be. They're pretty like straightforward. I mean, like pretty dense. Like Wenchel would probably be like definitely a place I would go eat like maybe a couple. Yeah. Like you would actually enjoy. I don't know about four and a half dozen, <laughs> <laughs> but they're uh, good. So would you want to do this again oh. right after? Oh, that's a good question. I have another good question from the mm. audience. Oh. Nope. Okay. Uh, King Two Dom One says, "Question: Can you cheat in sports with drugs? You can't. Is there an equivalent in competitive eating?" Yep. 
What is it, getting hot? If you throw food on the floor or kick it oh. on the table or stick it in a cup or stick it in your pocket. There was a guy who put a hot dog in his pocket one time. Oh! oh. Pocket dog. Pocket dog! <laughs> so I think the question was uh, towards performance enhancement. Uh, so that, that sounds like just straight up. Are they asking if I'm a natural competitive year or if I'm on the juice? That, I don't think they're asking you specifically what yeah. you're, they're not saying you are doing that. They're asking if you've seen or if there is equivalent to I can, performance answers. I can drugs. answer this question. My stomach isn't normally this big. Mm -hmm. I do train to make it larger. But what are some of those things that you can train to make your stomach larger? Water. Water. Water um, high volume, low calorie, like vegetables, mm. fruit, things like that. Gotcha. If you train with fruit though, be by a commode because it runs right through you. So fruit. don't do it like right fruit. your camera because you can crunch every single stupid bite. Mm. Ew. That is true. So someone's asking I how can ASMR. Oh, yeah. Someone's asking how is it that skinny people can eat way more than massively overweight people? But I guess the is it more just in the training of the stomach that you're mentioning? You don't have, no, fat, you don't have fat around your stomach so it's able to expand. Because oh. your stomach is contained within whatever its limits inside the body are. So if you have visceral fat mm. in between it and your skin, that space that your stomach can't take up. There you guys go. We're learning. We're learning today. King Kill continuing with the bits. Also, but being that I used to make sure you poop before. Mm. I did weigh 400 pounds before though, so. Does every competition have a different set of rules? So I could, you know, just. So with the taco one last night, was it. Most of them have a general outline, but there are it does vary by contest, yeah. Mm. Okay guys, we are 35 minutes in. How many donuts have we done, Coast? This is donut number 47 in Diane. Donut 47 for everyone just tuning in. Bomber 77 is going to donate bit for calorie once all the donuts on the table have been finished. You also can track back in the stream and watch Molly Schuyler set a world record of 360 nuggets. Those of you wondering how many calories as Donut 47 goes down the hatch, that is 16,920 calories. Just a day in the office. 19,000 Another calories. day in the office. All right, completely legitimate question. And going back to the performance enhancement drugs, a lot of jokes are made that something like cannabis can increase your appetite. Is that a help or is that actually a detriment? Oh, I wouldn't know. I've never smoked pop before. Sure. <laughs> okay. Do, do others. Not anyone in this room. We have to, well, and only in states where it is are there completely other legal. things like metabolizing, like stuff that boosts metabolism, like caffeine. Does or does it actually? Help? Recover after a sugar challenge. So a lot of water. I just rest. Rest. I lay down and don't think about anything. Yeah. So is that is that what's gonna happen regardless of the challenge? Almost sugar, savory, otherwise. Mm. Well, sugar is it's particularly like horrible. Like, I mean, if you eat a bunch of meat, like let's say you eat a giant steak, you're not gonna feel like this. Yo, so so eating a giant steak is is better than eating uh, for your body feels uh, the pain thresholds are different. Yeah. The pain threshold is very different. I think that you can eat a ton of say, steak or chicken and you, you won't feel what you're feeling right now. He just, he's getting sluggish. And it's, like you'll see that, it happens to all of us. Like you, you get to the point where you can't even like keep your mouth closed when you're chewing. That's uh, not like, we don't mean to do it. We just, that's sure. what happens. Do you black out at all during these competitions? Uh, like is it something where it's just, especially like the, the longer ones that aren't just ten, nine to 10 minutes, is there a point where you're not even thinking, you're just, I don't know, playing cowboy bebop in your head and just let Yeah, I think it depends person to person, but there comes a point where I kind of zone out. And afterwards, like when I think about something I ate, I, I will remember the conversation that people were having around me. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Because like people will talk about the most random, you, you, you happen to be eating, right? And people just talk about the most random things around you. And you can kind of pick up, it's like weird to be yeah. going out of this haze. Yeah, like the people at the table next to me are talking about some episode of a TV show they watched. So they're talking about the game they missed. Yeah, it's weird. Someone's asking if you eat tons of sugar, 
and after you eat something salty and savory, does it help at all? So maybe if the challenge was like a stack of pancakes and then bacon, is there one that you go to before? So I've actually like seen like on Mandros' food or something, someone did it as like a relief thing. They were doing an ice cream challenge and ate like yeah. fries just in help. the middle of it, just to cut through the sugar tolerance. Huh. Yeah, that was an Adam Richmond strategy. And he would he would order like food that was different from the challenge food. That's just for taste reasoning. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's not, that's that's right. reason. You're still gonna eat all that sugar. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna yeah. it has no effect on the yeah. That you're still gonna absorb all that. Oof. Oh, that's a great tactic. Fries and ice cream is an amazing thing. I think After's Ice Cream just launched a fries ice cream wow. today. Oh. Not on April Fool's, so it's a real thing. Guys, we're 41 minutes, 45 seconds in. Killer Ken, what do we, how many, how many we got left? Coming? This is donut number 51 in his 51 donuts down. Shout out to King Kill TV. I lied to you. Do not trust a word I say, y'all. No, 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 he didn't lie at all. He yeah. said a little bit. It is fascinating thing. that you mentioned like strategies ah, that nice. Richmond like used it. because you know he approached <clears throat> challenges that's kind of like an everyman. Yeah. Like you know, people like Molly and Dan are going to use much different strategies than you know people that you're going to see on TV, TV yeah. hosts. Yeah. So I, I don't know what's going through Dan's mind right now, but it looks like. It must be done. It must yeah. be done. He's just trying to be on. Is it? Is it trying to like will his way through everything? And I can't imagine yeah, what his jaw is going through. Look at how much water he's already like consumed. Yeah. He's already like gone through four bottles. Well, you know, like, even with the food, it's like if, if it becomes so much of a taste override, yeah. it's like even if you're not full, you can just lose it because you just can't stand the taste and your body just like yeah. kicks it out. I was there a couple of those nuggets. I'm just like, I was, I was choking on them. Plus it's sticking on air. Yeah, it sticks. I kind of feel it. It doesn't want to go down the whole way. Yeah. So in the beginning, you can swallow like, it's a little chewing. Right. He, how many do he get down in the first minute? It's a ton. I mean, the velocity yeah. changed dramatically. Yeah. Does it change sitting versus standing? Right now, I know a lot of these are inherently sitting, yeah. right? But he's not jumping around, trying to shut up. Things down. Does that actually work, or is that just more a psychological thing? It's not work. Does it work? Does it work? You have more room when you're standing up, too. It's not because you, you, you actually stretch out you know, yeah. your stomach to where it can open up a little bit more. There you go. Thank you. But yeah. And the good, good, well, the good thing about contests is they're usually 10 minutes or less, so you're not <laughs> standing and jumping for longer than that. Sure, sure. Uh, I'm a 10 minute man. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. 10 seconds sometimes. <laughs> That's what she said? Oh. Uh, I only like 45 second challenges, guys. <laughs> That's oh, not gosh. Good. I've never heard of complaining. The 10 minute. That could be a YouTube channel, the 10 minute man. Just remember, Nara, my only lasted 10 seconds, but it was the best 10 seconds I heard of in my life. <laughs> Uh, you guys, so you don't move around a lot after an eating challenge. I know when I eat a ton, I mean, that's just me going ham at a buffet. I like to take a short walk or a long walk before I just go sit. Um, does it just change? I think the, the amount of food definitely plays a part. It does because you know you start you kind of walk like a penguin if you're really full out. It's hard. It's hard to do a lot of effective walking. <laughs> sure. Like you know, it, it, I think some people think in their mind, oh, he's just gonna go run six miles now, you know. But no, that's not gonna happen. No, you can take a nap. You gotta take a nap. Get some support for Dan right now. He's on his last two donuts right now. Kind of like when a bear goes to hibernate. Kind of that, that kind of thing. Yeah. They go and eat donuts before they do that. So sleepover. Dude, he's he. I'm like, kid, 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 his face is so good. It's so good. It's like, it's ready to put pain on food. That's what he does. He's just ready to be done. <laughs> he <laughs> just like let this end. Like, well, he's God. got. Why? He's got like one and a half donuts left. Is that is, is everything in his hands? No, he's got one more donut. Woo! Out here, y'all. This is crazy. Bomber 77 got bits burning in his pocket. It's like the bits from the Avengers and Marvel Universe. What's the, the Thanos? The put Thanos fist. I want Thanos fist. We got a myself. science question there. Yeah, what's the science question? Did we miss it? Or yeah, why do you get a belly ache when you eat too much food? That's a good science question. Yeah, why? What is the actual? Do you know? Do you know no, do you know I actually this? don't. Good, Costa. You're, um, you're forcing your lips. So yeah. My it. guess would be <laughs> like, like what Dan was saying, like your stomach expanding and just the like nerves reacting as you're pushing everything else in your body mm. a little apart. I'm guessing that pisses off some pain nerves. So what happens? It's when called the stretch receptor. Mm. Science man, eating. Can't talk 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 eating. 43 Wait. seconds in. Do you guys know a doctor who could be a guest on one of these? Like. Did you get Dr. Oz? 
I want to talk to a dentist. He'll say, I don't condone anything happening. Ready for that? Is it here for that? Oh, hello. We'll have to talk about that. I have a lot of dentist related questions too. Here we go. Glass donut. This is it right here. Let's half donut. Half donut. Oh, there it is. That's it. Let's go. You just gotta get that last swallow. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna show us. Hmm. It's all over. Dan, Killer, Kennedy, and the building! <laughs> Woo! That's his main call. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Somebody eat six donuts? How, well, how did the number 54 I'm late to the party here, obviously? What? Yeah, so he's eaten four and a half dozen. <laughs> oh, okay. That's four it. Dozen. There it is! We're gonna stop it! 47 minutes left to Woo. eat. 47 minutes. That's 19,440 calories. Can you bring all the empty boxes? Oh yeah, let's bring all yeah. the empty boxes Stop. back on the boxes. Screen. And then we're uh we're gonna we're gonna chat through some things. Thank you. Oh look at all the bits coming in. Y'all are amazing. Big bits. Big bits coming in. You guys like big wow. bits? Big bits, y'all. You guys, we have one more amazing channel.